Happy New Year! ASMR flutter fingers. <laughs> Try saying taco ten times fast. Taco, 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 taco. <laughs> hey, cake nieces. It's Marisha. You lift me up. My favorite taco. Okay, the flour shell. The cheese sauce, the hard shell taco. I do like the ground beef. I might do like jerk diced chicken, fresh lime juice, and a lot of cheddar cheese, a lot of fresh lettuce. Just a little, little tomato, a little dice of tomato, because I'm not a big tomato person. If you can't tell, you guys, we're gonna be talking tacos. I'm gonna show you guys how to make these adorable little realistic taco cupcake toppers. They're so cute. And you know what? I don't even really wanna call them cupcake toppers because you're gonna also put them on the border of a cake. And it'll be little tacos on a taco cake. So if you haven't done so yet, I ask you every time in every video, some of you still don't do it. Can we support for 2021? Can we subscribe for 2021? I have the longest teeth ever. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and then let's get started. Okay, Kegnesis, so first off, I need something to shape my tacos. So I'm going to take a thick piece of photo paper. You can also use some construction paper. And then I'm going to fold it like an accordion. It doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to be precise. It pretty much is taking me back to elementary, middle, and sometimes high school when I got hot and I made like a quick fan. So I started off with taco shells. You can make these little tacos with cookies. You can use like a vanilla cookie wafer and you would have your frosting and then you would stick the cookies in the frosting like that. So that really all you see is a V shape which would be a perfect shell. So if you don't want to use tortillas because you feel like, eee, I don't want tortilla on the cookie. Even though it's cinnamon sugar topped, I'm not judging. You can also use cookies. And I'm going to use a round cookie cutter to cut out mini tortilla shapes. Here are my mini taco shells and now I actually want to heat them up. Yes, I need to give them some color and I also need to make sure that they are going to stay in that folded taco shape later. So I have a warm pan. You don't want to make it too hot because you don't want to burn them. Just with a little bit of oil, enough to coat the pan. I heated my shells up in the pan until they were lightly brown. And then I'm going to use the back of a butter knife to create my fold. Doing this while it's still warm, trying to rush the process through so that they don't actually stiffen up. We make dessert tortilla desserts. I said that funny button. We make dessert tortilla things. Don't use the corn tortillas. Don't do that. Um, I think that would be kind of like, oh, she put a corn tortilla on her cupcake. And then I'm going to sit them right in the creases of my accordion folded paper. Tell me that's not innovative. I need to create my ground beef. I have this rice cereal. I thought that it was Rice Krispies, like a knockoff brand, but it wasn't. And so... I use it whenever I can. <laughs> so I'm going to put this in a blender to just make the bits and pieces a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to mix it up with some melted semi sweet chocolate. It would help if the cereal was already brown, some type of chocolate flavored cereal, but it's going to work out just fine. I just have to make sure that I get everything coated. Now I do want my taco shells to have flavor, not just to be like, you know, pieces of fried bread. So I'm going to dust them with some cinnamon sugar. Delicious. It took me back to when I made my nachos. Remember my nachos video? You should watch that one after this one. So I'm going to put my ground meat onto my taco shell. It is already giving me all types of realism. These are the cutest little tacos already. Okay. <laughs> Oh, this is so great. Yes. 
I had a really good tropical fish taco, my goodness. It was like rockfish. If you haven't had rockfish, go look somebody up to get some. Um, a little bit of mango, mamacita, cilantro. Knock somebody's socks clean off. It almost makes me hungry, hungry. Okay, now we need lettuce. So I have some shredded sweetened coconut. And I'm going to just dye that with a little bit of green gel dye. You can use a light gel dye, a light green, which will give it that really realistic look. My lettuce, my coconut lettuce looks like it was healthy, grown organically straight from the ground. And it looks like it got plenty of sunlight. Photosynthesis was all up and throughout here. I mean, it is green. Okay, I have some healthy lettuce and I'm very proud of my healthy lettuce. Next, I need some tomatoes. I'm going to use the cherry flavor pull and peel Twizzlers. Why am I so excited? Because for one, these are gonna make the perfect little tomato candies. And then secondly, I just love these Twizzlers. They're so delicious. If you've never had pull and peel, woo, something's wrong. I can easily cut them and then break them apart. Oh, I love that candy. As soon as I'm done this voiceover, I'm going to take a bite of one that I have. Okay, I need some shredded cheese. I'm gonna take a Laffy Taffy, which is literally like the color of a highlighter. So I'm going to add some orange petal dust, and this is going to completely tone it down and turn my highlighter color into a nice cheddar orange color. Once I have the color to my liking, I'm just gonna use some kitchen shears to cut little shreds of the Laffy Taffy into cheese. What's a taco without sour cream? I have here some vanilla buttercream in a small sandwich bag. I've cut the corner off and I'm going to pipe a small strip of sour cream. I don't know anyone personally who doesn't like sour cream on their taco. They're out there, so I'm just going to do like every other taco. I kinda wanted people to be like, oh, I want one with sour cream. Oh, I want one without. Uh -huh. Like I was thinking about that. So these are my tacos all completed. They look adorable. Now the best part about this is when that chocolate hardens and sets, all of those toppers set along with it. It should taste delicious, right? Chocolate, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of coconut. That is how I made my realistic miniature taco cupcake toppers. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you like in your tacos down below and I will see you guys soon. Couture in a taco cupcake. Bye guys. Let's pick a Cagnista or Cagnisto comment. Hold on. Cause I got a lot to choose from now. Cause y'all been commenting. I have heartburn. This one excites me. Okay, so the cake needs to comment of the day goes to Kim M on my Chick Fil A nugget video. Kim says, "Just run across your page while randomly searching. That's always the best. When you are randomly searching and you just hit a little jackpot and something that just connects with you." And it's like, I'm gonna subscribe. Yes, that's a good feeling. So glad you are talented and entertaining. Hashtag subscribed. Thank you so much, 
Kim M. Right above your comment, Nawu Nawu says, great advices. Oh, advices. Nice. Thank you, Nawu Nawu, also. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I can't help it, Nawu. I just, I'm, I'm silly. Do you want a song? I'm never gonna dance again. Guilty feet, I've got no rhythm. <sighs> never cared to learn the words past that one part. We have to have a little bit of Christmas. I don't care if we go into February with this because I didn't have not one single Christmas video, but I have a lot though. Guess who this is? Guess who this is? Okay. <coughs> Fall on your knees. Oh man. The angel boy. Yes. It's the accent for me. Oh, not. Oh, not. No. I would pay a cool penny. And by cool penny, I mean like a good $75 to see her. Oh, <laughs> her.